Hey everyone, this is Steve from Publish Press, and if you want to improve your WordPress publishing, you should get the Publish Press plugins. One of them that you'll find particularly useful if you use the new Gutenberg editor is the plugin called Publish Press Blocks. This adds lots of missing blocks and configuration options that really improve the Gutenberg experience. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about adding an accordion to WordPress content inside a block. An accordion layout like the one we're looking at here allows you to show much more content in a much smaller space. The users can still easily see the content and browse through it, but they don't get overwhelmed by a large block of text. I have a WordPress site set up with Publish Press blocks installed on it. It's free to download from the WordPress plugin directory. And I'll go to the post screen, click add new, and this will be accordion post. I'm going to click on the plus icon to add a new block. And I can either find advanced accordion there or search for it if it doesn't pop up quickly for me. And by default, if I select the accordion block, I get two headers. So header text one. And this is the text that will be underneath the first tab. And header text two. Okay, let me give that a try. Let me see what the very basic version of this accordion looks like. Okay, so it's working, even though we don't have much content in there yet. I'll go back to edit post. It's easy to add extra accordion items. Once you've selected the bottom icon, there will be a plus icon, which allows you to add more headings. Inside each heading, you can add other blocks if you want to. For example, you could have more paragraph or even image blocks inside here. Let me grab an image. Okay, I've downloaded a few. Let me grab this particular image. And this is another part of Publish Press blocks that I'm using now. Okay, so I have one accordion with text and an image inside it. Under my second heading, I could do something a little more advanced. For example, I could use one of the columns options that either comes with WordPress or the columns manager that comes with Publish Press blocks. Let me choose a two column layout and I'm gonna have a button on the left and how about a icon or two icons in fact on the right and down here under this heading let me choose columns again this time i'll do a a layout with some text this is about a 30 percent column and then on the right let me go for the image and grab another image from my desktop here Okay, let me click update and let me see what this looks like on the front of the site. If I scroll down, you'll see that I have my text, my paragraph block with the image below it. Under number two, I have my two column layout with text and then a left column button and right column icons. And then for the third one, I have my 30% column on the left and my 70% column on the right. Now let's see some of the settings available for the accordion. If you click on edit post, you can select the accordion block. The best way to do it is to click on the space around the first header there, and you'll see the accordion settings on the right. First of all, you can control the bottom spacing. This controls the gap between each of the headers and their blocks and you can decide whether they appear to be all collapsed when they first load up. What this means is, and I'll set this to a higher number as well so you can see the spacing. What this initial collapsed setting means is, 
when you visit the post, all of these will be collapsed by default. And you can see the extra uh, spacing here. So when someone sees the accordion for the first time, all of them are going to be closed. That's what that setting means. So if I select the accordion again, on the right hand side, I can change some extra things. For example, if I change the icon, you'll notice that these buttons change here. And I can also change the color settings as well. These will automatically match the theme. These fairly muted colors come because I'm using the default theme in WordPress, but you can easily select custom colors. And if you're using a different theme, then different colors will load automatically here. WordPress tries to match the colors of your theme as closely as it can. And let me change the icon color as well. Whew. We're getting some pretty lively colors in here. You can also change the background color for your body. There we go. I've got a, a pink background here as well. And also the text, which is in here. Let me change that to a purple color. There we go. So if I click update, I'll be able to see the accordion on the front of my site. And that definitely looks substantially more colorful now. Let me go back and show you one more setting that you can change for your accordion items. Again, it's in the right sidebar. So if we go down under these header and color settings that we saw before, go to border settings. And inside here, you can choose to show a border around the content of each accordion. I'm going to choose a dashed option here. And this is going to lay it on pretty heavily so you can see how it works. But you can see that we have the option to show a border around each item in our accordion. Click update and let's see how that looks on the front of the site. Here we go. Our accordion is easy to set up and yeah, I'll probably tweak the colors, but I'm gonna say it looks pretty good. So each individual accordion on your site has these settings and is simple to set up. And there's also a global option as well for the accordions. If you go to publish press blocks and you go to configuration and default blocks, you can click on the advanced accordion button here and you can set the default options for every accordion that someone adds to your site. So you can control the color for all the accordions. You can control whether they're collapsed or not initially. You can set all of the options that we've seen and set them globally across all the accordions that people add to your WordPress site. So if you do use Gutenberg, I highly recommend using the Publish Press Blocks plugin. It allows you to set up really good looking accordion blocks like we've seen, plus buttons, icons, images, tables, videos, columns, and a ton more. Grab it today, the Publish Press Blocks plugin. 